I'm Mentorism and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Independent India. We're planning an attack into the Japanese homelands after having nuked them with uh, our new fangled technology. Uh, we also unfortunately have to beat back an invasion into our homeland by a combined force of Portuguese and Japanese. Great. Just great. If I was to be super, like, clever, I would probably take the fleet and I'd position them here to try and get rid of any more reinforcements. However, I don't want to risk the fleet. I can't. Let's get a new commander. Hello, Cyril Fisher. Oh, you're completely new to this. You've never, ever done any sailing ever before. Well, that's fine. Here's command of our 118 warship division. It's not really a division. It's actually a fleet at that stage. It really is a fleet. Yeah, quickly. Uh, you're marching down here, aren't you? Please, please march quicker. Please march quicker. Okay, might as well just attack like that. And what is this? I have no idea if this is a China I'm meant to be fighting or... Chinese Empire? Am I at war with you? Yes. But on a more real sense, yes, yes I am. And actually Portugal as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, I actually am really at war with those guys and they should probably die. There we go. I like the fact I'm now assigning field marshals to like jobs of like five divisions. It's fine. Also, I should probably give them more five divisions just in case they, you know, reinforce, which they probably will. Because they're annoying like that. Yeah, just keep working. We got this. Now, Portugal. How to murder you? Hmm. Honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, if I got closer, I could nuke you. I should have nuked you before I... If I just nuked you here... I should let you get control of your homeland a little bit and then just nuke it. Because that way... Can I nuke it while I control it? Oh, I can't nuke myself. Ah, look, the Netherlands want permission to have my... No. No, Netherlands, no. And they've tried to cut off my... No, country. Bad. Stop doing that. It's not cute or funny. It's actually really annoying. And I'd like you to stop, please. Also, if... Uh you could all attack there, and then we use our little buggy to go across and capture the port. We might be able to take them out. And also, you should be really aggressive with your attack, if you haven't guessed. Oh, and now you're good. Okay, you're done here. Yep, yeah, so now you're dead. We're not going to win that fight. God damn it. And we just got to take this port back. Come on. You got this. Let's go to four times speed. And they're going on a boat. 
which does tend to happen when you give them access to the sea. It's very specifically why I have a no sea policy for invaders. Oh god, that's a lot of reinforcements they sent over. Uh, let's just murder these before the reinforcements. Um, I have no idea. Reinforce them? That makes sense. Right, definitely want to uh, encircle them. They've got heavy. Ta they've got heavy tanks as well. Well, at least we've got into the defensive positions. I think we should be able to hold them there. Still, so disappointed. Hmm. Okay, how are we doing? The line is being held. The line is looking relatively okay, which is sort of a compliment, I guess. And you're on aggressive. Excellent. Not we really need this to win. Germany's already capitulated. Russia's already capitulated. Have they? I can't remember. Uh, and Japan, we just need to hit them here. Reorganized nationalist China, who honestly I didn't even know they needed reorganizing, has capitulated. Which is nice, I guess. Okay. Now you're done there. We will um, uh, move the army away from where we need to defend and forget that that incident ever happened. Because that's going to be a very sensible move, and I'm sure I will never regret that in the future. Uh, also, you've taken advantage of my line, haven't you? Yes, you have. God damn it. <sighs> Allies taking advantage of my lines. This is meant to be my territory. I did all the work. By all the work, I mean took advantage of a time when they were distracted and sort of iffy. And Actually, they weren't really that distracted, were they? They had most of their forces fighting me. So honestly, I don't feel too bad about that. Yeah, what can you do? All right, how long till you're ready to go? 30 days. 30 days time. We'll see what this world's about. And that doesn't include the sailing time for the ships. So about 30 days. Because I'll forget to launch the ships beforehand. Also, because the ships actually take only a short amount of time to get there. I don't want to waste the ships. If they're in the sea for too long, they will die. The Japanese Navy is just going to defeat us. I don't know why our force is, like, kind of waiting around there. Like, we could just push this in many cases, but maybe not that one, quite literally. Wow, that is not much equipment. Look at that. Average strength, 18%. Ouch. That's a little bit painful. Also, I really want you to move over here so that I can then go, Oh, excellent. I can extend the line. I don't have to worry about this front anymore because I've been worried about this front for several episodes and I hope no one's pulled it out, but I'm sure people have pointed it out quite extensively. There we go. Oh, look. We're solid. Don't need to worry about that ever again. And are we ready to go? Six days. Mankuka's capitulated. Five days. Four days. Three. Two. Set sail. And I would like you to patrol the Sea of Japan. Oh, for God's sake. The control is completely different for you than it is for ground forces. They really need to just consolidate their URI into like one. Like, if I go on to... Right. I know I've had this around before. I'm going to have this around again. If I go on to garrison area, what do I do? I left click. 
Look, look, I'm left clicking. Look, left click. Left click to select an area. What do I do to take an area away? Oh, I left click. Now, let's see what happens if we do that with a navy. Oh, uh, we right click to add. How do we take it away? Do we right click? No, no. We shift right click to take away. It doesn't make any sense. Literally, why is it not a toggle? Why is it an on? Oh, off. On. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Vanguard class, we'll come back to you in a minute. Go when ready. Engineer company. Uh, we should get... Next level of maintenance, because I've got the feeling that we're going to need it when we roll out our next batch of tanks, which actually will be done fairly shortly. And then for you, we want... What do the Vanguard class, I guess? Let's do the next level of cruiser. And also, I believe that we still have our... Yeah, planes over here. They should be over here. Because this is where we need to support our attack. Russian Empire's pitch-laded, because Vladivostok got taken. Lovely. We're actually doing pretty good headway now. Really quickly pushing compared to before. Hmm, I approve. Meanwhile, where is that fleet? Taking on and somewhat winning against the Japanese Navy, which is weird. Really quite weird. Please tell me you Yes! They're moving into the sea. Oh, hi, Japanese Navy! <laughs> Why? That's a mighty big navy you've got there. I don't know why I'm fighting this. We could literally just run away. Huh. Okay, uh, back to what we're doing. We've, we've got that. That's literally all I cared about. Okay, I'd say that battle went relatively well. Okay, right. Now you've done that. Uh, I would like to edit mode. And then select half. And then select half again. There we go. Push on every front. We got this. Can I have, like, another batch of units to send in? Preferably, like, fast units? Like you. I have no idea. Oh, four have selected. Okay, there we go. I was about to say I have no idea how many I've got selected. Seventeen. That'll be nineteen. No, let's just make it a nice 24. There we go. Right, who's going to be in charge of 24? Way, way too useful a guy, but sure. You can be in charge, and I would like you to get over here. Right. You head there. You head there. And you head to Tokyo. They should give in if we get Tokyo, but maybe if we just get like Osaka and Nagoya. Venezuela's capitulated. Great news. I literally didn't have a hand in that. I bet that'll be the United Kingdom. We've got advanced landing craft, which means we can just do like any size landing we want. Uh, I guess we will do naval doctrine. Yes. You get a discount, so. Yeah. And push Nagasaki. Really? That was a naval attack. Like, we had a massive penalty, but we still won. I mean, we, we are awesome. It, it, it is a known fact. Still. Okay. 
Okay. If we can just get to Tokyo, that'll be the end of this war. And also, our entire army disappeared from here because I told them to. Whoops. Are you still on the way? Yes. And it appears that a lot of our fleet have been murdered. Hmm. That's a shame. I've got 24.75 million left, so... Eh. Ooh, look, they've got radar. How quaint. I hear that's a thing that countries have who don't have people. Or with people, so we don't care. Uh, right, we got the Admirax. Let's get the Churchill. Because we can. Also, we should probably upgrade some of the designs we're making. Oh, yeah, because that's how responsible naval power rolls. Um... Let's make battleships. Yes. Um, battleship. Battleship. Heavy cruiser two should be heavy cruiser three. And we're losing forces because of the sea, but I don't care. We're going to Nagasaki. I really should be a little bit more worried about this. Okay, you might as well grab these while you're over here. Come on, if we hit Tokyo, war ends. Not all war. That would be a bit extreme. Plus, we actually want more war because we can take more stuff. This is the beginning of taking stuff. Wow, they died really quick. Tokyo, is it well defended? It has three sea forts, one land fort, and no one defending it. Which somewhat defeats the point of those forts. Like, I understand concrete bunkers are cool, but they don't do anything if you don't defend them, and we win. Ah, uh, United States actually has a lot of war score. This war was really all me, but sure. I mean, not to make it about myself, but it really was all me. Uh, so, what do we want? Well, we want a few, a few things, for a start. Uh, we would like Berlin. Um, definitely want Portugal. That way we can get the stuff that they've got, right? Because, um, that'll stop them from using that unless I want them to. Uh, they had resources. That'll stop them using that unless I want them to. Notice how a lot of my picks have been chosen to be basically dickish. It's because it works. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. There's oil here. Um, that, frankly, just because it looks uh, frustrating as all hell. So, yeah. Um, Denmark, again. We can control the straits there. And I think we'll probably just start... Oh! Rubber. God damn it. Yeah, we need this. This is actually one of the more important areas, because it's also right next door. So, yeah. Both of those reasons are very good reasons. Now, I'm a little bit torn about what I want to do with Japan. Ideally, I do need a way to get closer to the United States, and this gives me it in a nutshell. I could just grab you. There is literally nothing more to grab now. Okay, we're done. And the map will change forever. Look at those names. Yeah. Free India. Free India took 330 states. United States took six. Oh, didums. <laughs> what happened to you, Chuck? Oh, didums. Oh, look, there's Spain. Free India. We could make that larger. 
Take out Mongolia, German Republic, uh, Tibet, uh, Nepal, Afghanistan, and what was this? Bhutan. And um, Republic of Meijang. And then we'd have a massive name. Just. Poof. That said, I'm not even sure if there's going to be any any real fight in the Allies against us. We are ridiculous. Like, after fighting the Axis, as we did, in those situations, I'm not sure that there's actually any point in fighting the Allies. I'm actually going to leave this up to the comments. Like, comments, do you want me to fight the Allies and defeat them? Or will that just be kind of a, a pointless exercise at this point? Because we could just start another series uh, that actually has some sort of suspense in it. Because at this point... No. That said, I'm just going to bask in the glory for a moment. Everyone in the comments, apart from one person, said that it was a terrible, terrible idea and that I was going to suffer badly. One person was like, you beat Germany with Denmark. I, I kind of think that you're going to be able to pull this off somehow. I'm not sure how, but I think you're going to be able to pull it off. If you're that one person, well done. You have more faith in me than I did. But it's true. We, uh, we beat Germany's Denmark and then we beat everyone in the world. And note that fighting the Axis as one country is tough. We fought the Axis as one country, and the Axis were swollen. Like, the Axis had taken over, like, good chunks of Europe. Uh, they'd quite happily eaten chunks of Russia and stuff. They, they were... they were fat. That's actually one of the most powerful Axis I've ever seen. Axes? Axises? Axis, Axi? It's most, one of the most powerful Axi uh, that I've ever seen. And yet, we... we... I wouldn't say crushed face, we did towards the end. At the beginning, it was a case of, can we hold the line long enough to be able to push back? And we did hold the line long enough. We did give a bit of headway, and that's the first time I've actually ever give, given ground in this game, I think, in that sort of, uh-oh, this could actually be dangerous. And people are like, oh, you gave ground up there, it wasn't important. A lot of people are like, oh, you should just give this ground up. No, this is where all the factories were. We stole the ground up here for a very specific reason. There's a lot of factories here, and we needed these factories. Notice that, like, all around Moscow, there's a lot of, you know, industry. And if we have a look down here. Yeah, these these are some of our best provinces. Four. Uh, you look up here. Oh, look. Uh, that's not actually prime province. It's actually too far over. There we go. I mean, a lot of it got destroyed in the fighting. So, you know, there should actually be like nine there. But you get the point. And losing that ground would have been like catastrophic. But we we were fighting like here. I think it was like two provinces away from Moscow and we managed to put it back so I'm very pleased with how that went uh you bet let me know down in the comments if you want me to uh fight the the allies I don't know if it's really going to be particularly uh hard fought battle considering that I have 25 oh god if I unpause that number's going to be calculated isn't it yep we conclude the olympiad Spain joined the allies uh, in Tokyo, Japan, which is technically uh, in India. Japanese athletes did well. Do you mean Indian athletes? Mongolia joined the Allies. Why are you not recalculating? Germany joined the Allies. It's got a lot to calculate. Iceland joined the Allies. Iceland's a thing? Hi, Iceland. Hey, you're looking pretty good. I like your color. That's how I improve relations with countries. Okay, it looks like it hasn't updated for whatever reason. It should update. Oh, did it just update? Hmm. Oh, it says there, total manpower. 37 million. And that's because uh, we get a good chunk from non-eligible core population. <laughs> We're still on volunteer only. Oh, good times. Uh, so yeah, basically we can just wait, get enough guns, and then just give everyone a gun and be like, okay, go kill them with infantry. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Until next time, if you'd like, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. And of course, as per usual, stay shiny.